Hello, welcome to Sunbridge and today we're going to show you how to make a standard plucky base preset and we're going to be using Serum for that cause. Now the main and most obvious thing is that I have the Serum right here initialized uh, just the way it is when you just first open it and what I'm going to be doing and I'm going to be using this standard sawtooth as for the beginning. So right now I have this standard sawtooth, I'm going to be engaging the filter and I'm going to be making that filter a bit slopier, yeah, just like this, let's say. Now, I'm going to use an envelope, and I'm going to be using envelope 2, since the envelope 1 is tied already to the global amplitude. So I'm going to use envelope 2 on this cutoff point right here of the filter. And as you can see, the oscillator A goes through the filter, it's turned on right there. So, as of now, this uh, filter movement is bipolar. I'm going to click on my keyboard alt shift and click on this blue little knob right there. Make it unipolar. And what's going to happen is just going to be moving to one side. So let's say somewhere from like less than a half, let's say like 10 o'clock to all the way to the maximum. That's what's going to be happening. And in this envelope one, I'm going to pull the stain all the way down just for the beginning and I'm going to play with the decay. I already have some notes playing right here with the kick drum just to show you what that sounds like, what that bass line would sound like with the kick drum. Now, what I don't like is that my bass is too quiet. Nice. So now I can play with the decay until it's nice and punchy. And basically that will be it. Now, a very important thing I like to do with my bass lines is usually I like to skip this randomization of the, you know, start point on the waveform. So once you turn that off all the way down, now this waveform always starts from a certain point, the point that you can decide with this phase knob right there. So the phase parameter is going to decide when each note starts, where does this waveform start to play from? Yeah, and that's going to play a big role when you have a fast filter uh, like this that, you know, acts upon this oscillator, uh, punchy like it is right now. So once we do that, you can hear that beginning transient on the, on the bass really matters, uh, you know, and really is correlated to this phase start of the oscillator. And basically that would be it. So to make an overview, what's happening right here, we have an oscillator going through a filter and that filter's cutoff point is controlled by the envelope. And that's basically it. That's what we have, a really simple patch that makes that bass sound like this. Let me see the mixer. Yep, just like that. Now what you could do is maybe change this into a different shape so that uh, it's not a sawtooth necessarily, but it could be, uh, let's say, a square. What we are retaining is the filter movement and the envelope that controls it, but we're just changing the shape. And we could do one step further is to include another oscillator. Of course, I'm going to engage the filter on that as well. And I'm going to skip that randomization part on it too. And I could maybe play that an octave higher or maybe not. Let's see. That already sounds nice. Uh, what we can also do is maybe play it in the same octave. See that plays together really well and moving the phase of uh, one of them is going to make their mix always sound quite different. 
can play with that until you get a sound you like. Uh, also a nice thing that you could do is just transpose this other oscillator to the fifth tone in the scale, so that's gonna be plus seven semitones. So there it is, you can experiment using one oscillator and changing the shapes or using two oscillators combining them. Just remember that this phase parameter really plays a big role in how they actually combine when you turn off this randomization and those waveforms always start to play from the same point in, in this you know, cycle. Now, what you can also do is actually, of course, you know, experiment with the you know, shape of this envelope, which can, as you see, we can zoom in and make it more linear, exponential. Just like this, you have millions of possibilities making a nice standard plucky kind of electronic music bass sound that you can use for house, trance, uh, you know, various, various, various genres. Have fun making those basses. Don't forget you can download your free copy of Soundbridge using the link in the description or going to soundbridge.io. And if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, have fun. See ya.